Hi, I'm Jeff Miller, and we just finished up the chair design and, and chair making class here at Highland Woodworking. Um, I started, it's now almost 30 years ago, um, and started out in woodworking. Originally, I uh, did some musical instrument making. I was intrigued by the idea of Renaissance and Baroque woodwind instruments. There was a book out at the time, and I got all excited about it. Took some time off from college and went off to a shop where I mostly got to play around and um, play around, made some of my own tools at the time, and had an empty apartment, and so I made some furniture. And it started there, um, actually made my first chairs in that, those first few months of, of doing some work, and have been pursuing chairs and other kinds of woodworking ever since. Um, each time I go through this process with a new chair, I'm really excited about making things better, exploring new ideas and expanding what I'm able to do. The other thing I find really exciting is, is design. And really, in many ways, design itself is the bigger challenge and, and the thing that I'm more interested in than, than the actual woodworking. Um, Design is a process. It's not uh, black magic. It's not something that is impossible to do. We had a great deal of fun here in class where I challenged everybody in really the last few hours of class, we were gonna to put together, uh, we we're gonna design and put together a chair prototype. And I think it gave people a lot of insight into what this process is all about. It's finding choices. It's finding choices that actually speak to you, coming up with different ideas. Um, finding your way through and constantly improving on, on what the initial idea is. The other thing that's interesting about it is that uh, the creativity is often creativity that is problem solving and not just, oh, I have to be able to draw this design beautifully right from the start. That has much less to do with finding a great solution than um, being able to critique the solution as you go along and, and seeing various possibilities, being open for serendipity, all of those different elements are important in what's going on. There are three main things I concentrate on. The first and foremost is comfort. The whole idea of chair comfort, we sit in chairs all day long, every day. You're sitting in a set of chairs right now. And as a rule, we don't pay attention to how comfortable those chairs are. Um, so comfort is one. Structure is the other thing that we need to worry about when you're dealing with chairs. Just the simple act of sitting down in a chair, standing up from a chair, and then all of the bizarre abuse that we put the chair through um, in the course of its life means that it has to be one of the most structurally sound pieces of furniture, bits of woodworking that you ever do. And the third thing is appearance. But chairs can be really exciting visually. So these three things are, are where this all starts. How do, we, how do we find things that combine all three of those? Now, these are my main criteria. And I think they're three really valuable criteria, but they don't have to be yours. We're talking before, some of you got here about my next book, which is about the idea of, of what it takes to, to actually design something. And this is kind of a core idea in terms of what it takes to design something. It's also a core idea in what it takes to, to do something with a chair. That's more than just the ordinary by the book kind of chair. You have to start paying attention. You have to start becoming aware of all the different things that go into making it work. I think that if you make a comfortable basic chair that most people are gonna say, oh, that's really comfortable. And that's been my experience. You know, you make a, a good chair that fits the back, that you know, the seat has good contours, that 95% of the people who sit in it or more are gonna say, hey, that's a great chair. So why chairs? I, I find chairs to be a tremendous challenge, actually, and, and I think almost everybody else does as well. And it, it's also tremendously rewarding as you're dealing with chairs, um, you're solving some of the most interesting problems, problems of 
making something comfortable for a wide range of people, making something that is structurally sound, and so, you know, this is an object that's subject to all kinds of abuse, um, and then making something that is really beautiful and that people are interested in displaying, showing, sitting in, and, uh, having companies sit in, and uh, all of those things are major factors in, in when I'm designing something and when I'm teaching about chair design and building chairs as well.